Dead Island 2 just dropped its very first update, so let's get into all the details. So the first big thing in here is that we have a cosplay feature, which basically is new skins in the game. Here's an idea of what they look like. Here's these right here. There's also these, the Till Dawn collection, and then the From Dust collection, obviously reference to From Dust to Dawn. Uh, so there's those. I'll have a whole video covering these very, very soon, but just kind of giving you an idea of those. Um, the other things they fix is some, some various different things. I'm not going to go over everything. They fix some quests like Fool's Gold and Diaries of the Dead. Uh, a lot of co-op improvements uh, where there, people were having issues with those. Walking through walls, missing NPCs, things like that. Um, kind of a, a big point on here is performance and stability. And like I said, it's mainly just co-op issues of the person who's joining someone's game having all these issues. So a lot of those should be fixed. Like I said, you can pause the screen and read through these or um, you can look at the link in the description. Another thing it says here is there's other minor fixes. Now, one of the big things that I know a lot of people have been doing, especially for like trying to get through the game quicker and speedrunning and stuff like that, and just getting super powerful is bunny hopping. From what I've heard, it sounds like bunny hopping has been patched out. So let me know in the comments below if there is bunny hopping still in the game or if it is uh, completely patched now. Next up, we got some huge information about the upcoming story DLCs. We have House coming in Q4 2023, so sometime between October and December. And then we have Solo Festival, which is Q2 2024. So it should be between April and June of next year. So looking forward to that. Just kind of a, a breakdown of those. The first one, House, it says, How does a billionaire prepare for the zombie apocalypse? A techno death cult with a healthy splash of debauchery and gore. First expansion will release Q4, like I said before. The second one, Welcome to Solo Fest, where LA's party people can greenwash their way to ecstasy and save the planet one rave at a time. So, yeah, this one's going to be kind of, looks like maybe set in like an opera house almost the way that the the image looks and this one's obviously going to be a big outdoor festival there's going to it's going to be two new locations so it's not going to be something that's already in the locations that are in the game currently with two separate locations you'll be able to go to which is nice uh it's one of the reasons i kind of i kind of do like the way that it's laid out instead of being completely open world because that means they can add as many new sections to the city as they want without having to kind of interfere with anything else. So this is pretty nice. I do like the idea of these. Um, if you already have the expansion pass, you will have these. Uh, if you don't have the expansion pass, you'll have to get them separately. I don't know the pricing on their individual ones at this moment in time, but that's kind of the information there. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Dead Island content, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.